Let me first put a shout out right now, if I could, for www.noblegoldinvestment.com. That's www.noblegoldinvestment.com. You know, Noble Gold CEO Colin Plume thinks that quantitative tightening is setting up the stage for a gold rally. And in his interview with the National Desk, Colin Plume said that the tightening is pushing the dollar up. However, he predicts that by next year, the Fed will print money again to restart the economic activities. If you're thinking of gold and silver right now, good time to do it. Noble Gold is giving a free gold American Eagle coin with every eligible IRA or 401k rollover in this month of September. You can't go wrong with noblegoldinvestments.com. Pick up the phone Tuesday morning at 877-646-5347. That's 877-646-5347. And find out about your financial planning. Let Noble Gold help you. And tell them that Pastor Paul Begley sent you there. Poland asked the USA to host nukes amid growing Putin fears. Poland has spoken to the United States about sharing atomic weapons, President Duda said, a provocative statement that comes as Western nations confront Russia over its invasion of Ukraine. The United States and NATO have publicly stated that they have no plan to deploy nuclear weapons in countries that joined the alliance after the collapse of communism more than three decades ago. A White House official said they were unaware of the issues that were being raised and referred further questions to the Polish government. Russia launches to space from the United States for the first time in 20 years. For the first time in 20 years, a Russian cosmonaut rocketed from the United States on Wednesday, launching to the International Space Station alongside NASA and Japanese astronauts, despite the tensions over the war in Ukraine. Quote, we're so glad to do it together, said Anna Kakina, Russian's lone female cosmonaut, offering thanks in both English and Russian. She was among the three newcomers on the flight, alongside Marine Colonel Nicole Mann, the first Native American woman to orbit the world, and Navy Captain Josh Kasada. They were joined by Japan Space Agency's Kichi Wakata, who is making his fifth space flight. They're due to arrive at the space station on Thursday, October 29th, hours after departing from NASA's Kennedy Space Center, and won't be back to Earth until March. They're replacing a U.S.-Italian crew that arrived back in April. Over in Arizona, a professor was killed at the University of Arizona, and the suspect has been arrested and is now in custody. A professor was shot and killed on the University of Arizona's campus in Tucson on Wednesday, campus police said. The campus police chief said a male professor in the Department of Hydrology was shot and killed by a former student. The suspect was identified by police as Murad Dervish. The professor has not yet been identified. Dervish, 46, was taken into custody following a traffic stop by the state's Department of Public Safety near the town of Gila Bend, University of Arizona police chief said during a news conference. Police said the suspect used a handgun. The victim was sent to a local area hospital but was pronounced dead by medical staff, the police chief said. Purdue University student is arrested on a murder charge after his roommate is killed in a residence hall. A Purdue University student was arrested on a murder charge on Wednesday and accused of killing his roommate overnight in a residence hall on the campus in West Lafayette, Indiana, the school's police chief said. G. Min Jimmy Shaw, a junior cybersecurity major and international student from Korea, called 911 around 12.45 a.m. on Wednesday to alert police about the death. Purdue University Police Chief Leslie Wheat said at a news conference on Wednesday morning. Details of the call were not disclosed. Authorities said the incident happened in a room on the first floor of McCutcheon Hall. Iranian authorities arrest eight after teenage protesters' death. Iranian security forces have arrested eight people over the death of a 16-year-old teenager, Nika Shakarami, in Tehran last month, Iranian media said on Tuesday. 
Family members told the BBC Persian that her whereabouts was unknown for 10 days before they found her body in a morgue in the capital. State Align news agency Taz Nim said Shakarami was found dead on September 21st in the backyard of a house in Tehran. Taz Nim said that police watched surveillance footage of Shakarami entering an adjacent building and that it remains unclear how she died. Tasman said there is no evidence of claims by, quote, foreign media that the teenager was killed by police. The semi-official farce news agency on Wednesday published CCTV footage that it claimed showed the last moments of Shakarami's life. The video, which the agency said it obtained from police and judicial authorities, shows a person walk into an alley and enter a home, pulling down their face mask as they walk through a door. The person is not immediately identifiable. Tehran's prosecutor Ali Salih said a judicial criminal case has been launched and expressed his condolences to Shakarami's family, state-run IRNA said.